Nah. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the underground. Today is a very, very special day. Amanda the Adventurer has finally gotten its full release. I've been playing this game for over a year now, following each and every update, and now we get a full game, which I heard has multiple endings, a ton of secrets. What we're gonna do for this video is I'm just gonna play the game through normally, see how it goes. And then if you guys really like it and you wanna see the other endings or the other secret tapes, get this video to 1000 likes. That is probably the biggest goal I've ever set for a video, but I think you guys can crush it. All right, here we go. I'm done talking. Let's jump in. Amanda the Adventurer. All right, here we go. Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes. To stay to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. This next part may be a mistake and gods forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic that I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. All right, so we're playing as Riley and Kate left us her house. She's dead for whatever reason. And she's basically like, yo, go check out the tapes in the attic, but be warned, it ain't gonna end well. Great. All right, so this is the same setup from the demo. I'm guessing that the beginning of this game is going to be the exact same as the demo. And then obviously where the demo would have ended, we'll get more of game. But uh, let's just take a look around, see if anything changed. All right, there's a ton of stuff on this board here. Oh, hell no. That's like the type of doll that you definitely know is a red flag. Who would actually buy that? I don't see too many new things. Looks like a lot of the stuff from the demo is still here. So uh, let's just jump right in. Let's watch the first tape in the kitchen, just like in the demo. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hello, Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Um... Mm, that sounds delicious. Today we're going to make mm -hmm. an apple pie. First, if you know, we you know. To cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? By the way, I don't actually like mutton pie. I just did that for the reference there. We use a knife. Good job. We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed Did you see to that on that the fridge? Ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. Ha <laughs> That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? All right, so just for this um, first gameplay that we're going to do, I'm just going to, you know, follow her directions, answer her properly, because we know what happens when you answer wrong. You basically always have to end up answering right anyway. And I don't know any secret codes that are probably going to happen yet. I know the sugar's in here. Great! Let's make a pie! Whoop, whoop. Mm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? No. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! Yay. I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie! Bye! Alright, so that was uh, slightly different from the original. That mysterious code that was on the fridge isn't there anymore, which I'm kind of happy about. Oh god, this is a lot of information here. <laughs> I know there's a lot of codes, there's a lot of buttons that we could press on different things. I'm definitely going to need my notepad at some point. But alright, we know exactly what to do here. We grab the apple, we put it into tin, 
Then we take the tin, put it in there. 425 for 40 minutes. Nice. And we got our second tape. So this is where the demo ended last time. This one is called In Your Neighborhood. Hopefully nothing creepy or bad happens here. Hi friend, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Hello. What do you like best about your neighborhood? Um, not all the dead bodies on the ground, that's for sure. That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? All right, so off the bat, there's certain letters that are highlighted here. C, B, F. So that's got to be important. Doesn't look like I could click on the dead bodies exactly. All right, let's just go to the store. Corner store. Good job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? This number is definitely going to be important to what would she say? I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. I only listened to my Lord and Savior Wooly. Great. I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. All right. I guessed right. When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. <laughs> Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Poor Wooly Man. This is a good episode so far, though. I feel like it's actually teaching good lessons. You know, the first one where she's cooking, she's kind of being like, you know, you should turn the stove on by yourself. And obviously, that's should definitely not do that if you're home alone and you're a kid. You know what I mean? But she's being nice good in this one. Job. Let's go get that treat. Mm. I did not like that. Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? First of all, this is the meat man from the OG OG demo. I don't like how much the tapes are glitching now either. What happens if I click the cake? I don't think my friend will like that. Cupcakes? I can't mail that to my friend. I want the cookies! Okay, all right, that's all you had to say. Those look so tasty! We just have one more stop in the neighborhood. The package is ready for my friend. They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. Bruh. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Um, I don't know. Um, uh, how, how do you not remember who you're sending it to? Four letters. Aunt Kate? Great work. Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. Hmm. Hamelin. So that's the company that makes Amanda the Adventure? Ooh, okay. Now we have the piano here. Here, before we jump into the piano, let's uh, let's read some of the information we got over here. All right, so this is a letter that we got from Aunt Kate. So now I'm curious, is Aunt Kate in the tapes now? Clearly, Amanda knows who she is. Damn, who put this plant here? Can I water it? All right, it's probably not good water for the plant, but we'll leave it there. Here, I'll just... I'll just give that to you. All right, uh, on the board... Okay, we got a lot of symbols. Looks like they're for different colors. <clears throat> Time for my expertise in reading. Dear Miss Park, 
I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again, to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and eventually, it killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street, that some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular, old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research you do. The kind that normal people don't do. I don't know, maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. Part 2. He used to watch that show, you know. It was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome I guess. And then it just got weird. I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV, like he was in a trance, and it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said something really weird. I know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do, not at the library, the other kind of work. They just don't really want to face the truth, that something really evil was here. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone is watching me. Sincerely, Joanne Cook. So Joanne's brother disappeared. Uh, she believes that it's Amanda the Adventurer's fault somehow. And it seems that our Aunt Kate did some kind of interesting work outside of working at a library. School records, behavioral complaints, make appointments or review cold cases, disappearances. Building is still there, too risky to investigate. Maybe the building where they filmed the Amanda shows? When did it change? Energy transfer? Would see sigils. TR investigating. Potential for diakinesis. Is a kinetic ability that allows one to create and manipulate energy, whether it be physical, metaphysical, and magical. So, some kind of magical power. That's very interesting. And then we have a certificate. The certificate is presented to Catherine Park for her dedication and achievement in the field of children's library services. March 12, 93. Then this letter. Hi, Aunt Kate. Thank you so much for the roller skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down, but don't tell him I told you that. I can't wait to see you at summer vacation. Love, Riley. Aw. So Aunt Kate really did care about us. Right, so we got the bot here. And we need batteries for him. Great. Also says caution, do not get Blabot wet. I feel like I might have to get him wet at some point. All right, we got our clock here. All right, so we got a mousetrap here, another lock box here. There's this box here, but I can't interact with this one. And it seems that these plants all have symbols on them, which is interesting. Oh. And there's a plant hidden here, which may be important. I'll throw that there. Oh? A hidden fruit. I don't think that this was with the other fruits here either. Yeah, I can't, I can't cook it anymore even if I tried. Maybe on our next run through of the game, that could get us something secret maybe. Let's do this now. So, the letters C, B, F. Yep. That was literally the only important letters I saw in that last video. This one is called, oh no, accidents. All right, this can't be good. Oh, it's you. What's good, Willie? Whatever you do, don't... <laughs> oh no, Wooly had an accident. An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. I feel like it's Accidents your fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Hold on, Amanda. There's no way that number is random. I'm definitely gonna have to write that down. She said 345 in the afternoon. It's 345, I wrote it down. First of all, what kind of dark, decrepit, crappy park are they chilling at right now? And Amanda, I know you hurt Wooly because bro was about to talk to me and now suddenly he's hurt, but it looks like he hurt his knee. That's right, Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Parents? I don't think they can help. Doctor. Let's 
take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Okay. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Another clock. This one is 620. Writing that down. Uh, which doctor to help Wooly? Definitely the, the mouth doctor, the dentist. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. How about the heart doctor? Wooly's in a lot of pain. Are you sure it's not the dentist? Please help me get to the right doctor. All right, I, I feel bad, Wooly. I got you. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Definitely the heart monitor. That won't help Wooly. Oh, I don't like that there's a heart on the floor. Um, let's do the scale. I'm scared. What should we use? All right, all right. I'm sorry, Wooly. I got you. The x-ray machine. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bones. Oh, created by... S All right, it says that the Amanda was created by Sam Colon? Definitely mispronouncing that. Follow us to fun. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that many people are having fun watching your show. All right, and now we got... Hmm. Hold on a minute. Uh, oh, nice. All right, hold on. Let me read what this says. Catching up with Sam by Lacey Mitchell. All right, I'm writing all these names down. Sam Colton wasn't expecting to be a father to a town icon, but last summer it became clear that his public access series, Amanda the Adventure, and its title character were something very special. For this self-professed struggling writer, it all started with his adopted daughter and a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of the Sunflower Diner's famous strawberry banana pancakes. We chatted about the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. Lacey. Sam, not a day goes by when my kiddos aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you even dream that this little show would be as big of a hit? Sam. Little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something elegant in simplicity. We may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there is a soul that transcends that. I'm humbled by the way the town has embraced my... I don't know what that word is. It seems like a nice person. Strawberry, strawberry, banana, pancakes, huh? That might also be important. I'm going to write that down too. All right, so we got two things to try when we play again. But now let's figure out this clock thing. I'm going to try each of the times we have... Three times, which is 345, 620, and 1050. Okay, so 345 worked for that one. I believe I have to put all of these clocks to the right. What happens to the safe? Wait, the safe turn. So if I don't solve some of the puzzles in time, they just disappear? Because I definitely knew I didn't have a three digit code for that safe. That's interesting. All right, this one, let's try 620. All right, cool. So that means that this last one has to be 1050. Okay. It's not. There is this other one here. Maybe this one's 1050. Yep. That's why it had a PM on it. So that because 2250, 1050 PM. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and now it says 515, which I'm guessing I set this one to 515 now. Nice. There we go. Okay. Safe 826. Okay. It seems that no matter what, you have to go through the game one way to then go through it again in a different way. Unless the safe comes back, but I feel like it's not going to. All right. This one is called Everything Rots. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. Hello, Amanda. I'm Wooly. Such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Uh, a bagel with cream cheese. Oh, I don't like that at all. All right. Uh, Amanda, Fine. what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm, I don't know, Wooly. 
You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? Um, whatever this gross ass thing over here is. You, you're right. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. Why is it breathing? This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Dead? That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite All of Alright, this alive. is a weird lesson. Good job! Men can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways, too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and rotting. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? All right, Amanda, you have gone way too far. There's a dead animal on screen with a gun and a knife. I do not ever remember Dora showing that kind of stuff. But if I'm to guess what killed him, I'm going to say the bush because he's in it. I don't think that was it. Or not. Maybe the gun? No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? The knife? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Yeah. Mr. Fox, what made you die? I can't click on Amanda because I'm almost sure she killed him. It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Hmm. Sometimes I feel myself riding. But it feels far away. Amanda! Nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Wooly really standing up for himself. All right, she asked me, do I think that everything rots? Which is just a yes or no question, but there's five letters. I'm gonna... Why won't you answer my question? I'm just gonna type it until it's... You have to tell me until it corrects me <laughs> don't you want to be my friend please answer my question wooly yes i think it might be too late That's just one of the endings? All right. I know I said I was only gonna do one run through in this, but I have to go back in, dude. That's, oh, we're completely restarting. Okay, so now I could I could try some things. First, the code for this was 826. Nice. And we get, okay, the rest of the paper that goes on here. Boom. And then, pause button you know i noticed this but i thought it was just a part of the tv design hmm what is that okay i think i have an idea oh that's cool the sticker here Hi, is completed I'm now and I'm okay so i could pause the tapes and do other things now good job i remembered this from the first playthrough just now so looks like the stove is on it's clearly telling me to pause so uh let me put it to the proper settings maybe 
Okay. Oh my god, it actually changed. Oh, that's... Oh, the ingredient. <gasps> Meat pie. Ingredients, 200 grams of potatoes, 200 grams of mushrooms, 350 grams of meat. Preheat the oven to 525 in a pie tin. Mix meat, potato, and mushroom. Bake for 50 minutes and enjoy. What's with the cheese? I don't see any cheese on there. Potato, mushroom, meat. Okay, I see potato. Oh, and then the mushroom? But what's the meat? All right, mushroom. Was there a moon on one of these? There is a moon. Okay. Okay, but that doesn't work. But those are... That has to be somehow connected. And meat. Where would I get meat? Yo, are you considered meat? Can I use you? Oh... Is that going to get a mouse or something? Oh my god, it did. Okay, this is a long shot. And then what were the settings? 525 for 50 minutes. Hi, mom. Hi, Bella. All right, let's cook it. Okay, we got the tape for In Your Neighborhood. Which is the same tape, but... Hi there, I'm Amanda. And I'm different. Lily. Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? All right. Can I go out of order? I don't need to go there right now. Do you think this is funny? Yes. Just take me to the store. Now, can you tell me where I need to go? Yeah, now I can. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing there's going to be another moment where I have to Good pause in job. this. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My okay, those notes are definitely important. Ah, uh, no. Something bad happened. What kind of card should I send them? Something bad happened. That's not the right card. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> Shh, here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. All right, so Wooly said it's his birthday, so birthday card? Are you sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat! Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, I know! Let's get them some nice candy! Do you know where the candy store is? Okay, did Wooly just manipulate Amanda into getting him birthday stuff instead of her sending a card to Kate? Because I still think she was going to send something to Kate until Wooly was like, Oh, by the way, it's my birthday. Uh, let's click on the meat store. They don't have anything we need. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? This one. Uh, does this help? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> look, why did you do that? What? Now I can't find the candy store. Whoa. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Don't do that. Well, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't want to go there. I said I don't want to go in there! 
You're not giving. There's no other options. No! Why? This is happening! No! Why can't I stop this? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. Why is Willie an option to click on? That's not funny. Okay. All right. Good. I thought we were going to have to cook him there. Let me out of here. Oh, Amanda. That's, that's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? All right. Willie, I guess. Oh, Willie. It's your birthday. I just wanted to try something different. Well, happy birthday, Wooly. Oh, this is... Alright, this is different. This is good, because I think we might actually get a different ending here. Where we tried to, we want, you took me. Where we went, we tried to. Okay, wait. Where we went, we tried to. Um, where we went, we tried to. Guts. Oh, that's the answer to the lock. And oh. That's one of the symbols, I think. And scissors on the doll? So, I think... Let's go. What's a family tape and scissors? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a lot going on here, we got a lot going on here. Okay, this is the one with the symbol that it was telling me to, um, Wait, what? Where'd the doll go? I'm guessing now I have to know this for next time. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to play through multiple times just to do everything that the game wants us to do, which I actually like because it gives the game so much replayability. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Bye. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's ba. great. You sound just like Wooly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. At a petting zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal, and I- Animals don't talk, silly. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? Yeah. A goat says, meh, meh. A chicken says, a pig says, like, <laughs> fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal families. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? I'm going to answer wrong on purpose here. That's not where they are. Don't you know what a chicken looks like? Maybe I don't. I want to go look at the chickens. Okay. All right. Here Wait, we go. Let's go see those silly chickens. What a cute family. Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. And I see... I see a 
with Daddy Chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? A rooster? The daddy is called a rooster. Let's go. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? No, I why the farmhouse looking like that? Can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Ew, I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to go near. Flood warning. Oh. The sheep are waiting for us. Where are they? All right, all right, all right. So the sheep we go, so the sheep we go. Okay, let's go. Wooly can't speak anymore. Look at the nice sheep family. All the sheep are right where they belong. Wooly. Blizzard warning. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? Um, uh, there's a five letter option. I feel like there's a deeper answer to this, but I'm going to mess up on purpose. so scared. There's nobody to love her. Alone. This kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Will you please help the lonely kitten? No. Won't you help the lonely kitten? No. Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Nah. Mm. Alright guys, so this video was a lot longer than I expected it to be. I thought I was just going to do one run through and that was it. But like I said, if you guys want to see the rest of the endings and all of the other secrets and stuff, I will try to find them all in the next video. Just get this video to 1000 likes and I'll do it and I'll try to get the video out right away. If you want to try out Amanda the Adventurer for yourself, the link will be in the description down below. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm really loving this so far. I really do want to get all the endings and stuff. And be sure to let me know if you guys saw anything that I missed in the comments down below. Also, big thank you to all of my members. Thank you guys so much for your amazing support. If you want to see some of the older Amanda the Adventurer stuff, you can click on this playlist over here. And if you want to see a creepy cave horror game, make sure to click on this video here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.